What's up guys? So I'm here in a performance mall three. I have my friend here, Alex, who has done me the honor of showing me his performance mall three. I'm super excited. Um, Alex, you've had this car for about a week now. Yep, a little over a week. And how are you liking it so far? I'm loving it, it's great. Yeah, so what, what have you done with it? Um, mostly keeping it clean. It's got the stress me out white interior. Uh, I've taken the wheels off to get some measurements of the, the brakes, the calipers, the rotors. Uh, cleaned everything up while I was in there um, and then just enjoying the drive. I, I'm literally loving this white. It, it kind of makes me a little bit jealous that I didn't wait for it. It makes it feel super open, um, just super clean. And and I'm guessing I, you're being, uh, you know, do you have your baby wipes and your... I've got my quick detailer in the trunk with some microfiber towels, a, a towel right here in the center console to keep this clean. Um, yeah, so I definitely have my cleaning supplies on hand. Well, was it worth the wait? It was worth the wait, more than worth the wait. I, I'm, I'm loving the white. All right, so I understand this is your first Tesla yes. and it's awesome that it's your performance model three. Um, now, were you looking at S's, used S's, X's before this? Yes, yeah, for the whole time I was waiting for the three, I kept you know checking out the S, looking at the P85s and more recently the P90Ds, um, trying to, you know, I wanted the performance version of whatever Tesla I got. Um, so I did cross shop it for a while and uh, ended up settling on the three and I think it was a great choice. It's the right size for me. It's got, it's nice and nimble handling. Um, it's got enough acceleration for me, which is, it's quite a bit. Awesome. So I think the big question everyone wants to know, a base S or a performance model three? Uh, well, I went with the performance model three. Um, came down to the acceleration and again the size of the car it's you know it's just enough space for me and my my family I got two kids so they'll fit perfectly in the back and when I'm not hauling them around I can get out take it on the on the track if I wanted to or just zip around town and park a little bit easier than the S um, so I, I think the three was the is the right choice the right size all right and Tell me a little about supercharging. I know you went earlier or last night, correct? Yes, last How night. How was that whole experience? It was great. I went to the one downtown, San Diego at 6th and A, and there were a couple other cars charging there, and I just was able to easily pull in. It's right on the second level. Parking into the spaces were great and charged me up in no time. And how much was it? It was just under $5 for charging, um, and then the parking, if you go in after five o'clock, it's $5 flat rate all night. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, what were you, do you remember how many miles an hour you were getting? Um, I, I'm wondering yeah, if it's it different. Roughly, uh, I want to say it was 150 miles an hour. I think I saw 170 miles per hour, but I didn't, I didn't really need too much. I went from roughly 60% to 95% in less than an hour. Okay. And, uh, what's the full, did you charge it to 90%? Or I charged it up to 95%. I was in a hurry to, to get going to get okay. out of there and I thought 95% was sufficient for what I needed. And how many miles was that? How's the range looking? Uh, hmm. So I had, last night I had it in percentage mode. I didn't check that but when I fully charged it at home to 100% I've done that twice and it was it said 310 on the on the dot. Oh wow on the dot okay. Now did supercharging cost you anything? Um, it's not supposed to cost me anything because I've got the performance three and Tesla announced that if you you know place your order before August 1st uh, Supercharging was free with the performance model threes. Oh, wow. um, however, the screen indicates that I've got a Roughly four dollars and 68 cents worth of supercharging fees. So I'll keep an eye on that. Okay Yeah, a full um, kind of full charge on my car is about 13 bucks right now. Okay, so I actually didn't know that the performance model three has got free supercharging. So that's pretty awesome. That's another reason to go get it. All right. So we have the long range model three and the performance model three. Alex is going to give us a kind of comparison and what's different on the outside and all the different hardware here. So go ahead. Can you show me around Alex? All right. For starters here, we've got the 20 inch wheels, uh, the 20 inch by eight and a half. Uh, you can see the upgraded brakes you've got some two-piece lightweight rotors and larger calipers painted in a very pretty red and then the same in the back of course the same 20 by eight and a half wheels and upgraded uh, two-piece lightweight rotors and um, bigger rear calipers very cool 
And now on the back, what is it supposed to have? On the back, when Tesla has it, there's gonna be a carbon fiber trunk spoiler and then a, a dual motor badge with a underline to, signif to signify that it's a performance version. Very cool. So they're not gonna have the Tesla spelled out in that performance version that we no. kind of saw. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna get the traditional uh, Tesla logo there and uh, that's about it. All right, sounds good. All right, so Alex told me he went to Race Legal SD last night and uh, he brought this car. How was all that? It was great. I signed up for the modified class, which has uh, the, the time is between seven and a half to eight seconds flat. Um, and I was able to get, you know, seven, five, two out of it. And it was consistent with the trap speed of 93.4 miles per hour all four times. And it was a blast. Yeah, it just really it gets up and goes with, you know, no no worries about spinning the tires or having to shift it's just it's a linear acceleration that is just unmatched oh man I, I can't wait to try it out um now on my car if i go straight from zero pedal all the way down mm -hmm. um it's jumpy it's torquey there's instant torque i love it uh, but if i'm going around 30 miles per hour and then i do that i feel a better jolt yeah it's, is that the same here oh yeah it's it, 30 to 90 or more it just in an instant it feels like oh okay well i'm super excited i want to see how the performance model 3 uh kind of accelerates we're going to test that we have a draggy test today we're going to uh just see the acceleration we're going to see how different it is from my model 3 we'll keep you updated so we're going uh, around 30 miles per hour right now we're going to see if there's a sudden jolt just like in my 3 and all the other teslas we're going to see how fast that is I'm ready whenever you are, Alex. All right. Oh my God. You know what? My headshot back, very, you know, that's signature Tesla right there. That that was fast. That, that was crazy. Oh my gosh. 30 to 60 in a blink of an eye. In a blink of an eye. That was, that was really jumpy. Oh gosh. Like I, I, I was not expecting that at all. I, I, I knew it was faster than my car, but this was a lot faster, but go one more time yeah let's do it one more time i'm a little more prepared again so we're doing oh man everything being shot back that's an awesome feeling i love it wow now have you uh did you race any cars last night i did i raced a heavily modified subaru um and that one wasn't close at all and then a couple of other not so fast cars just by chance how we lined up and then the closest race of the night was against a, a seemingly brand new jeep Trackhawk, uh, which had me nervous I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie i know those things are fast um he got me at the line at the light i mean and then um was just a nose in front of me until about halfway um when the car pulled through and i beat him out by at least half a car length so so that was a fun one very cool Oh man. Bad to just stop in the middle of the road and do zero to 60. Uh, no one's behind us. I, I think we should be good. All right, we're gonna do a zero to 60. We're just stopped in the middle of the road. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. That is jumpy. And you can see the, cam the camera's having a little hard time staying still. It's being shot back up. Oh man, that, that's awesome. Did we have a time for that? Let's see what we got on that one. Might be a little laggy getting that. Oh, invalid, too much of a slope. Too much of a slope. Uh, and it was a little slow at 373. 373, okay. It's still 1.3 seconds faster than the long range Model 3. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day for testing the performance Model 3. I am quickly debating on whether or not I want to try to trade in already. I think you should. I'm not one to, to recommend someone trading in a brand new car already, but in this case, it's worth it. That, that, that is fun. And, and I, I want the white. Uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. This is fun. You, so you're zipping around town, taking the corners hot, accelerating whenever you can? Yep. Yep, uh, responsibly, of course. Okay, of course. <laughs> um, but 
but yeah, it's and it's just it's so smooth and flat through the corners. I mean, it's probably the same in the the rear wheel drive Model Three. Yeah. Um, this has a slightly shorter suspension, not much, but it's it lowered by about 10 millimeters, um, and it, it just handles great on the 20 inch wheels. It's I don't hear any extra noise. It doesn't feel any more um, uncomfortable than on the stock 18 inch arrows. Um, so that's been nice too, to to not know what how it was gonna ride and then take off and go through you know many different mm -hmm. streets here in San Diego and just smooth. Oh, it's it's been very smooth. And it, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, my mom got in the Model 3 and said, no smart air suspension, yeah. such a rough ride. Yeah. Um, and I, she's a little spoiled, but <laughs> you know what? Any, anyone else that would ride the car, it's, it's definitely uh, smoother than people think. Right, and that was something I was, um, I was hoping to get in the Performance 3 air suspension, but I'm perfectly happy with the, the traditional coil spring setup day out here in San Diego we're right uh, right next to the bay we're gonna do our 0 to 60 again here we go ready when you are. I'm ready <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh that is way too fun oh man that's uh we're gonna go ahead and check the times for that I don't think hopefully there wasn't too much of a slope there Look like there was, unfortunately. Nope. <laughs> Let's see. Give it a second for it to register. Yeah, 373 is fast. And, and what is it advertised as? It's advertised as 3.5 seconds flat. 3.5 flat. And I've been able to achieve that, um, and that was with a 1% um, slope. So it's definitely, there's more in there. If you have a, a really flat road, right condition. All right, just got done with trial two. What did we get, Alex? We got 3.69. 3.69, was there any slope there? There was about a half a percentage of slope. Half percentage of slope. And you were saying last night you achieved that 3.5, right? Yep, it was a 3.50 with a 1% slope. Wow, okay, awesome. You know what, like, I, I almost forgot I was in a, in a Model 3 right now. I thought we were, we were taking a joy ride and one of the performance S's actually. Oh man, it is worth the hype. I, you know, you know, I, I've been in the same body for the last four months in the same car, um, and, and then it, it drives just totally different. Um, Do you want to give it a go? Uh, you, yeah, let's give it a go, and then um, I, I'm excited. Oh wow! All right, all right. This is my first time driving. Uh, I have no idea what to expect except sudden torque and instant acceleration. Uh, have you been a passenger in your own car yet? I have not been a passenger in yeah, my own all right, car so yet. So we're going so. 30. Are you ready right now? I think I am ready. All right. <laughs> That's so much different being a passenger. Oh my gosh. That, that was 30 to 60 just like that. Oh my gosh. That, that was fun. I'm, I'm glad we're hitting a, a stoplight right now so we can... Go our zero to 60 right here. Oh man, different being a passenger? Way different being a passenger. Oh man, all right, we're at the stoplight. Here we go. <laughs> zero to 60, just like that. Dri driving this is 10 times different than the long range Model 3. I, I am literally shaking right now because <laughs> I just, I, I want to see what the best offer I can get for White Falcon is right now. Um, it, it is just totally different. Oh man. It's just always ready to go. Yeah. All, all, all right. We're going to give some, one more. We're at 40 right now. Are you okay? I'm all right. Okay. Can you handle it? Um, I'm trying to let me get past this curve and we'll go ahead and give it a, another jolt right on the straightaway. It, it's definitely smooth and uh, motion is just like that. Here we go. Gosh. Oh man, that, that never gets old. That, that is fun. Have you taken your kids out like that? I've taken my son out and he just laughed the entire time. I had a blast. Oh man, it's, it's like a roller coaster at Disneyland. Well, we just got done. Uh, 
kind of kind of drag racing testing the performance model 3 it was so fun thank you so much Alex for let, letting me uh, experience that 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 is that was quite the blast thank you very much you are welcome awesome all right so now we're in white falcon definitely looks a little darker in here a little a little more gloomy how, how does this feel i wouldn't say gloomy but yeah it definitely feels a little uh, darker inside. It's, it's but not... you've got tinted windows too i don't have any tint that's right, true so. it doesn't feel as open uh, i don't know if i'm sad to be back in my own car i don't <laughs> know if that's a bad thing to say uh but we're gonna see uh we're gonna draggy this too we're gonna see how fast this goes uh zero to 60 30 to 60 just feel the difference uh now uh, that we did this car. We're gonna see how this feels and see which one's kind of worth it I, I'm already biased. Uh, we haven't even done this one yet. So here we go. So you rented a um, a Long-range model 3 before you got it. So I did yes This shouldn't seem any different of course, but uh, maybe it'll feel different and a lot slower after driving the performance for a week so uh, here we go um, We're gonna do let's try going 30 first and then uh and back up to 60 or whatever. All right. So, uh, once again, it's a beautiful day out here in San Diego. We're having a blast. I am having so much fun. 30. All right, here we go. We're at 30. All right, here we go. Oh, see, it still pushes you back. It, it, it's still torquey, definitely. Um, I, I probably got more whiplash from the other one. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's still torquey. Uh, especially at going 30 miles per hour, going 30 to 60. Um, let's try that again. There are some people crossing. All right, miles. let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can. It's, it's a little bit. I, I don't get the same giggles, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> still, still roller coasters. For anyone who's not used to an electric vehicle and that instant torque, it, it'll still definitely provide that shock factor. Yeah, it's the it's the torque. There's nothing else out there except another Model S or a Model X. Yeah, um, for sure. To get that same reaction just instantly. Now, uh, have you driven any of your friends in it yet? And just I have. Yeah, I've had two friends in it, and they both just couldn't believe it. I mean, they're new to Tesla in general, so they hadn't experienced it, which um, I'd say a lot of people haven't. And they were it was throwing them back in the seat, you know, laughing. Just wanting to, to feel it, you know, to do multiple times, multiple runs. So yeah. More did, than happy to, to do that for them. <laughs> did you share their, your referral code with them? I have shared my referral code with them. Good. In the chance that they go out and buy one. And just an update, if you guys didn't know, if you're buying a Performance Model 3 S or X now, you can use a referral code for uh, some supercharging there. We're going to have mine and Alex's in the description below for this video. And um, I'm gonna try this out. All right, we're gonna try a uh, zero to 60 right here. We're gonna see what the draggy says. Uh, uh, I to, there's a little bit of a slope, uh, but I'm excited. Sorry. We're gonna set up the draggy trial one on the long range model three. It's advertised for, I believe it's five seconds flat. 5.1? Oh, 5.1. All right. I was being a little optimistic. <laughs> you can get five seconds flat. All right, let's try it. Here we go. We have uh, it on standard mode. And we um, go. just waiting for the draggy to connect. This is awesome. It, the draggy is a nifty device, cheaper than the V-Box, and uh, sets up Bluetooth, uses satellite. Super fun to use. But it seems like we're ready. All right. Here we go. You know what? <laughs> From zero, it's definitely a little slower pickup. Um, you know, it, it's a different feel. Uh, it's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Very tough act to follow. Uh, what were we able to get? Let's see what it gives us. That one said, uh, oh, too much slope, but it gave me a 5.5. 5.5, 5. 5. 5. okay, so that that's... Uh, Close to the standard range, or uh, yeah, standard range of the Model 3. Um, but you know, this slope looks a little bit better. We're gonna do a take two whenever you're ready, Ox. All right. Here we go. Still that instant torque, still shoots the camera back up. 60. We're comparing the, the big adult rides at Six Flags compared to the little rides at 
Disneyland uh, over in Fantasyland. So still fun. But still fun. Still fun. Different. Very different. What did we get on trial two? All right, trial two. That one, whoa, that's pretty good, 5.21. Trial two, 5.21. White Falcon still has it. He doesn't want me to get rid of him. <laughs> so that, that's pretty good, I'll take it. It's, it's the fastest car I've had, so. I, I'm definitely excited to get a cool video of a Performance Model 3, um, a SP100D, an X Performance. Uh, we're gonna set that up pretty soon, Alex. I think so. I think we need to set it up and get it out and see what they, how they compare side by side. Oh man, I'm excited. All right, we're all done now. Um, I got to see the Performance Model 3 up close. It's an amazing car. We got to compare both of them as far as the draggy goes, uh, how they drive. They're both smooth. The Performance Model 3 is a lot different. It's a lot more joltier, or jumpier, of course. It's the Performance version. Uh, I'd like to thank Alex again uh, for letting me drive his car as well as just having this fun day. It's like visiting an amusement park for, for guys like us. Yeah. So uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, or see you next time.